Hello, welcome to this tutorial. I am Victor Engstrom, the creator of Somnity, an audio middleware for Unity. In this tutorial we're gonna go through how to set up a distance based gun sound, with reflection layers which will change depending on the environment. Here's how it's gonna sound when we're finished. All the assets and scripts shown here are all included in the examples folder if you'd want to try them out yourself. So let's start by creating the assets for the reflections sound. Reflections are basically an additional gun layer which changes depending on the environment. We want to use the create single sound event option. As you can see, the create single sound event automatically finds any common denominator of the sound container names and uses that for the sound event name. So the reflection sound is made up of a close, distant, and far layer. Just a quick reminder, the shortcut for preview is Control Q. Now let's enable the distance crossfade. Basically, the layers number decide how many layers you want to crossfade between and the this this number specifies which one of these layers this sound container is. And as we can see, the higher the number, the more distant the layer. For this sound, we have three layers, so we want to set the number of layers to three. The this this number should be one for the close layer, two for the distant layer, and three for the far layer. Now we can hear it crossfading over distance. Now let's create the rest of the assets. As before, we want to create a single sound event from the selected items. But now we'll use the shortcut Ctrl Shift W instead of the Create menu. For the crossfades, this time we'll use the automatic crossfade preset instead of doing it manually. So just select all the sound containers and run automatic crossfades from the preset. This checks if a group of sound containers end with a specific set of names. As you can see, in the bottom of the tooltip, if the name ends in close, distant, far it becomes a three-layer distance crossfade. Close and distant, or close and far, becomes a two-layer distance crossfade. So, for the shot sounds, because they were named close and distant, it automatically set up a two-layer distance crossfade. And for the reflections, because they were named close, distant, and far, it automatically created a three-layer distance crossfade. Now, let's edit the pistol shot sound. It contains a close, distant, low, and mechanism layer. As we can see, the low layer has a max distance of 100 units. I don't want it to be heard that far away, so let's lower the distance scale to 20. And for the mechanism, I want to have an even shorter range. Let's say 10 units. Now, let's preview them together. I think that the pistol close layer is a bit too loud, so I'll lower it. And I think I could move back the mechanism and make it pop better in the mix by separating the transients a bit. That's better. Now, to play the reflections with the shot sound, we need to create the sound tags. We want to make an indoor tag, and an outdoor tag. Now, we can add them to the shot sound event. So first, let's enable sound tag and set it to global. This makes it play different sounds depending on the global sound tag in the sound manager. 
which we can see here. Let's add the sound tags and the reflection sound events. So the indoor sound tag and the outdoor sound tag. And the indoor and the outdoor reflections. Let's preview them. The reflection sound event is a bit too loud, so let's lower the volume here with a sound modifier. That sounds better. Now it's time to add some code to play the shot sound and set the sound tags. Let's start with triggering the shot sound. We'll open up the example shot script here. And first we'll add the namespace, then a public field for the shot sound event, and then a trigger for the sound. Now the sound will play when we press the left mouse button. Lastly, we need to add the sound event to the public field. Let's try it out in game. Now, let's set the global sound tag so our reflections will play. We want to use the example collider script here. This box collider is used to define the area which will set the indoor sound tag. Firstly, we'll want to add using Sonity, then add public fields for the sound tags. Indoor and Outdoor. This is checking if the audio listener position is inside the collider. If it's inside, it should be set to indoor, and outdoor if it's outside of the collider. We want to use the set global sound tag function of the sound manager. Setting it to indoor and otherwise outdoor. Lastly, let's add the sound tags to the fields. And let's try it out. I think I'd want the reflections to sound a bit wider. So I'll just select them and lower the spatial blend a bit to make it more 2D. And maybe decrease the spatial spread roll off a bit to make it sound more wide. That's better. Now it sounds more like it's being reflected off the environment and not just coming from the gun. As a final touch, let's add some distance based filtering and distortion to make it sound even better. Let's just select all the objects, enable low pass filter and distance. Now the further away you are, the more effect the low pass filter has. Maybe increase the roll off a bit, so it's more aggressive. Now it's a bit too drastic. Let's try the quicker roll off, but with less amount. That sounds good. 
Now, let's try adding distortion. It's a bit too much on the reflections, so let's disable distortion for them. And just have it on the shot sound. That's a bit too much. Maybe something like that. I think we're done here. So, that's all for this tutorial. At the website sonity.org, you can find links to more tutorials and some really good documentation. If you have any questions, join the support discord 